Hello friends, my name is Akshat and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is the fifth question of the mock Vita round two that was held on the 17th April. Its name is Grooving Monkeys. So the problem description is as below. N monkeys are invited to a party where they start dancing. They dance in a circular formation, very similar to a Gujarati Garba or a drum circle. The dance requires the monkeys to constantly change, change position after every one second. The change of position is not random and you in the audience observe a pattern. Monkeys are very disciplined and follow a specific pattern while dancing. Consider n equals to 6 and an array monkeys 365412. This array indexed, uh, one index is the dancing pattern. The value at the monkeys eye indicates the new position of the monkeys who is standing at the ith position. Okay, uh, given an, and the array monkeys, find the time after which all the monkeys are in the initial position for the first time. So what it's basically looking for that when you have given an array of three, six, five, four, one, two. Suppose uh, it is given in this order A, B, C, D, E, F. Then for the first change, uh, this would go in the third position. B would go in the 6th position, C would go in the 5th position, uh, C. Here then D would be going, D would be going to the 4th position, so it will be staying here only. E would be going to the 1st position and B, uh, B would be going, no, the F would be going to the second position so this is the structure after at the value of t equals to 1 and we have to keep continuing this uh, this pattern uh, until we reach the same position that is a b c d e and f okay so these are the constraints given me here and this is the input format so this is actually the explanation that at t equals to 1 e f a d c b uh, as written i have here so a will move to third position and then the B will move to the sixth position, C will move to the fifth position and all that. Okay. So let's just let me explain you a little more intuitively. So at t equals to zero, this is the position A, B, C, D, E, F. At t equals to one, uh, you have seen that it would be E, F, A, D, C, B. Uh, A would be going at the third position. B would be going at the sixth position, C would be going at the fifth position, D would be going at the fourth position, E would be going to the first position. Okay, and then after that, E would be going to the third position, F would be going to the sixth position, A would be going to the fifth position, D would be going to the fourth position, and C would be going to the first position. So after this much of time interval, at the time interval of 6, the position would be same. And this is the answer that we have to write. That is 6. Okay, so how would we going to approach? So you can see here that after 3 seconds, after 3 seconds, A is getting back to its position. That A is arriving at its current position, at the original position. Okay, so three. After uh, for let's check for B. After two seconds, B is getting at its source position. Uh, I think it should be B. Uh, A F C D E B. Uh, oh yes, it says B because B would going to the second position here, and F would be going to the sixth position. Here. Okay, so after two intervals. Every two interval, B is getting back at its original position. So it's two. Let's check for C. Again for C, after every three interval, you can see here it is, here it is, and here. It's coming at its original position. So after three seconds, it's coming back to its original position. For D, it is in his constant position. So I'll just take the value of T equals to one because just after the every second it is in his same position for E you can again see that it's taking 3 seconds uh, 3 minus 0 that is 3 so it's taking 3 seconds 
uh, for f you can see that ff also changing uh, getting to its original position after two seconds so now we have this uh, list of values we can of course eliminate the duplicate ones and keep the only the unique values so if you will find out the lcm of these values you will be getting the answer as six okay so this is what my approach would be uh, let me show you a little more in code wise that how i would be implementing in code so you can see that I have taken a for loop on um, that it reads from 1 to n plus 1 and I've written a condition here I will explain it to you in a little bit it basically means that if the uh, this element where it is written 3 if it is 0 then it will continue where it is written 6 if it is written 0 then it will continue it will just skip these values it will not iterate again and again okay so why it's necessary I will explain to you uh, let's current equals to i so I have taken the current value equals to 1 because it's starting from 1 block equals to i I was uh, written as block equals to 1 and count equals to 0 okay so this is an infinite loop. while 1 uh, it's known as the infinite loop it will get uh, so I will get out of this loop only after I break it okay so I'm storing here the value of uh, current I'm storing the value of AR current into current so AR current is uh, current is 1 and AR of current that is this value okay uh, here it is 0 and this is index 0 this is an index 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay so current equals to AR of current that is 3 so the current would change to 3 then AR of block equals to 0 so what's this basically saying that it will just block this element that we don't have to uh, traverse it okay uh, so I'll just AR block equals to 0 I'm doing this so that when I this is for to make this condition true for the next time you will see it soon okay uh, then block equals to current AR block equals to 0 so AR block equals to 0 so this 3 would be removed and this 0 would be placed here and then block equals to current oh, sorry this won't be 0 uh, when block equals to current then it would be 3 uh, count plus equals to 1 so it is 1 if current equals to I is it true is current current is 3 and I is 1 so it's not true uh, so the while loop will again iterate then current equals to AR of current again so current equals to current is 3 and AR of 3 is 5 so I'll place 5 here AR block is equals to 0 okay so I'll just 3 that is this element I will write I will place 0 here okay so block equals to current so the value of block changes to 5 and count plus equals to 1 so count is 2 then again this uh, while loop will iterate and current equals to AR of current uh, this current equals to AR of current so I will go to the fifth index of this array value and I can see that it is written 1 so current equals to 1 AR block equals to 0 so I'll just again store the value of 0 in this block equals to current so block equals to 1 count plus equals to 1 so count is 3 if current equals to y is current equals to y yes now it is equals to i then I will simply break it and this will get me out of the loop hey, this is a set basically I have considered dance uh, where uh, data type to be as set and you know that in set only the unique elements are placed uh, duplicates element are not stored in it so I have stored the value 3 first then I will again loop it for i equals to 2 so now the value of i equals to 2 let me erase this
so current equals to i so current here it is equals to 2 block equals to i so block is also equals to 2 while one again i will iterate current equals to ar of current ar of current that's it is 2 uh, so current would be changed to 6 ar block equals to 0 so this would be 0 block equals to current so block would be equals to 6 count plus equals to 1 count is equals to 1 now is current equals to y no it is not so it will iterate again current equals to ar of current so 6 it is now 2 so current equals to 2 ar block equals to 0 so it is 0 now block equals to current it is then 2 block equals to current true uh, count plus equals to 1 2 if current equals to y what is value of i 2 this equal it will break and then out of the uh, loop it will get inserted into this okay so now i will iterate again through the for the value of 3 if ari equals to 0 c now you don't have to check again the count for this because when you check ar of i then it is already 0 so this means uh, so this means that you don't have to check for it because uh, the step count for this it has been already been added to the set and you can also see here see for this 3 5 okay uh, okay just wait a minute i'll just complete this loop then i'll tell you one thing uh, okay so it will get continue so now the i value would be 4 oh, let me again drop it Okay, sorry, not this one. Value of i equals to 4. If ARI equals to 0, uh, so it's not 0. Current equals to i. Current equals to 4. Block equals, uh, block equals to 4. Count equals to 0. Current equals to AR current. Current equals to AR current. That is 0. Uh, that is 4 so it's same ar block equals to zero you can also you can say ar block equals to zero so it would be zero now block equals to current so block would also be changed to current count plus equals to one so one is current equals to y yes it is because it's four only it's not being it's not changing so after the loop i'll just add it to this set okay so now for the next value of five you will check ARI equals to 0. So this is also 0. So you will just continue it because you have already stored the steps for it. ARI equals to then it will go to the 6. That is also 0. So the loop will terminate. And I will then have this list, uh, this set of values. And I need to find the LCM of it. Although you can see that 3 plus 2 plus 1 is also equals to 6. But that is just a lucky case that we have got it. But we all we only need to find the LCM of it. Three, two, one. Uh, if you know the LCM, three, one, two, one, two, one, one, one. So it will fetch me value of six. Why addition won't work? Uh, suppose you get a step size of four, two. Eh, okay, four, two, and one. So what is the LCM of this? The LCM of this is four. But the addition of this is seven, so that is why uh, that is why the addition is not a good way. Uh, we only need to find the LCM of it to get the answer. Okay, now what was I was telling? Why we are basically doing this zero? So just check it out here. Let's see for the value of a, a, c, and a, c, and e. You can see here that they are that they are in the same pattern they are changing after every three seconds so, okay so that is why I was doing the zero so that I don't have to calculate it again and the similar part was being done for the six and two that is for B and F because they are also changing at the time interval of two second only two 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 
okay so this is the whole algorithm or logic you can say behind it uh, let's check go to the code part of it so this is basically a function where i have found the lcm uh, i have took the smallest part the large part i have in this part i have basically calculated the gcd the greatest common divisor okay because we know the formula that the we can find out the lcm by taking uh, a into b that by taking the multiplication of two elements and then dividing it by with its gcd that will fetch me the least common multiple that is the lcm so this is the simple logic of lcm and this is the whole code so you can i have uh, you can see i have taken the test case then the number of elements uh, then the array part and then i've inserted zeros uh, zero at the zeroth position just to get the one indexing so that it would be easier to explain and tell and this is the whole code and after this i am just taking the lcm of the whole set or you can say whole list first i am finding out the lcm of 0 and 1 uh, like this first i'm uh, suppose the array elements are list is 4 5 2 1 so i'm first finding out the lcm of 4 and 5 okay and then i'm iterating it from the second index that is from this one so it will uh, 4 and 5 the lcm of 4 and 5 would be uh, 20 and then lcm of 20 and 2 okay and what after that after finding the lcm of 20 and 2 that would give me 20 again i will find the lcm of 20 and 1 okay so the answer would be 20 and uh, so the answer would be 20 so that's all now uh, let me just go through the test case as given in the example 16365412 okay so you are getting the output as 6 okay so that's all thank you for watching this video if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos if there is any query related to the question you can place it on in the comment section given below i have also uploaded the code you can find it in the description section it is a github link so you can just go and open it and you'll get the whole code of it